Hello and welcome to the first bucket teacher tutorial. Um, on this channel I'm going to be adding a bunch of bucket tutorials um, showing off of a few plugins, probably more than a few, but um, I'll be doing basically everything bucket related. Um, if you ever need some bucket help, just request a video in the comments and I'll try to make it and make it as simple as possible so everybody can understand it. So, for the first tutorial, I'm going to just do a basic one to start off. Um, this is just going to show you how to install um, a bucket server on your um, computer and run it off your own computer. So, this will not teach you how to port forward, so if you're trying to port forward, um, try to find a different video because this video will not show how to do that. So, to start off, we're going to want to open our web browser. And you're going to want to go ahead and and head over to bucket.org. And once you get there, you'll see a bunch of links at the top. Forms, rules, bugs, um, about us. Um, we don't need any of those, but the one we do need is the git craft bucket link. Alright, so once you're here, you're going to see a few links and the, the one you're wor we're worried about is the one that says latest recommended build it'll say download craft bucket next to it so once you find that you're going to want to click on latest recommended build and then you'll see at the top um, craft bucket 1.0.1 r1.jar and that's the file that you need to be able to run a server, a craft bucket server. So we're going to want to download that, click on the link, and it'll start to download automatically. So once that, done, once that is done, just minimize your browser because we're going to have to come back to it again. And we're going to want to create a new folder to host all the data that it needs, all the worlds, all the bands, all the whitelists, and everything else that comes with the Minecraft server. So let's start off and go to new and let's make a new folder. Um, you can name this folder whatever or not, whatever you want, and it won't affect what your um, server name is, but just name it whatever you want. And then once you got your folder, you're going to want to bring over your craft bucket jar file and go ahead and drag it right over into the bucket server folder and open it up and you'll see the jar file in there now what do we need now what we have to do is create a a run.bat file and this will execute the craft bucket jar file so to do this you're going to need a notepad, notepad um, program notepad plus plus notepad 2 notepad the default notepad on windows anything will work so um, we're gonna. I'm gonna open Notepad. So now that we've got Notepad open, we're gonna want to head back to our browser and get some code that we need to create the um, run.bat file. So you'll see like two quote boxes, maybe more if you scroll down more. But you'll see these two top um, quote boxes. You want to copy the first one. So what? Copy that, and then minimize your browser, and you're gonna want to paste this right into your Notepad. So once you got that, we're almost done with the run top bat file. The only thing we have to do is, um, since the new 1.0.1 update, they've changed um, the name, so this this run bot run dot bat file won't be able to find the new um, craft bucket jar name. So what we're gonna want to do is get rid of that zero and replace it with a one. And then next, we're gonna remove the snapshot and type R1, and then they'll be able to find the jar file that we have already moved over to our server folder. So once we do that, we want to go to File, Save As, and we're gonna um, name it Run dot bat and 
or you save you don't want to save as a text file so click on text files and go to all files and that will save it as bat and just go ahead and save it to your desktop to make it easy so once you've saved it to your desktop you want to exit out of your notepad we don't need that anymore and then you'll see this run.bat file on your desktop and with this run.bat file we want to drag it into our server folder and now you've got two files in there your craft bucket.jar and your run.bat file so we are going to click on the run.bat file and it will create all the stuff you need for a Minecraft server and you'll see it all over here being created and if you head back over to the console you'll be able to see what it's doing and right now it's preparing um, your world and it will prepare all three worlds um, the overworld which is the normal world your nether world and your end world where the dragon is located so once that's all done you have your own bucket server ready to be played on only by you or um, if you have more than two people in your household you are more than two computers in your household you can have a friend come over and play with them but anybody anybody outside of your network will not be able to play on the server unless you port forward so um, port forward might be coming in new, um, the next tutorial we'll see depends on what I want to do and now that it has created all the worlds you are done and now you'll have your server folder with all your um, documents and folders and here's your three world folders and your plugins folder is where you add all your plugins and I'll be showing off or explaining how to do that later in more tutorials and I hope this tutorial helped you out on making your own Minecraft server and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll be making I'll be adding videos constantly trying to help everyone out that needs help with their bucket server and that's about it so thanks for watching